morning i don't think i've ever done an intro sat down before um oh, i'm in pinkston or just outside pinkston so day out in pinkston i'm living the dream i've got uh, steer with me today i think the last time i saw you it was quite a bit cooler a few months yeah That's january yeah swan it took me took me two showers to get warmed up after that um, so yeah, we're in Pinkston. We're gonna we're, have a look at a few things around this area. So we're gonna have a look at the Bentink line. We're just sat on a crossing on it at the moment. Don't worry, I'm not trespassing. This isn't a live line or connected to anything. Uh, and then we're gonna have a look at some of the collieries around here as well. So a couple of disused things. Um, Langton, Portland, Bentink, and uh, so yeah, yeah, stick around. And I uh, hope you enjoy. So a quick look at Railmap Online at the journey that we're going to do today. So we're going to be starting walking down this yellow line as far as Langton Colliery. Now on old maps this is referred to as the Langton Colliery branch. We're then going to continue along this line as far as we can heading towards the Bentink Colliery. But due to some of the, the parts of that line now being inaccessible, we're going to take a diversion south and have a look at some parts of the old Portland Colliery. And after looking at the Portland Colliery, we're going to pick up the Bentink Colliery branch line again, just east of the Bentink Colliery. So my apologies, when I was editing this video, I didn't realise how many times I used the wrong word for Bentick. So just see if you can count the number of times I got it wrong and let me know in the comments. Right, so we've got a live railway line there. We're not going to encroach on that too much. That's your line. I think it goes from your airy wash line over to your, your Romy Nudder line. It's just we've just seen that class 56 and class 50 just go past where we've been stood at the uh, level crossing, just the other side of the, the bridge there. But what we can do, we can, uh, so it's a foot crossing, we can just come up, we just come up from down there, the side of the river Arrow Wash. That foot crossing goes all the way over to the over to the live line. Now it's not a very heavily used line to be honest, freight only. The noise of that M1 is the dominating feature about this location. So we're just crossing over the river Erewash down there now. You could uh, be forgiven for missing it because the embankment is on top of a bridge, weirdly. Let's see if we can get down there and have a quick look underneath. So just come, let's come underneath, underneath the, the Bentnick, underneath the Bentnick line. I'm gonna have trouble saying that all day, aren't I? Underneath this little bridge. <laughs> like it's needed some some assistance and restructuring a little, a little uh, reinforcing at some stage improvisation at its finest look how rusted these bits of old track are bits of bits of timber Certainly not stood the test of time, have they? Well, I suppose they have. I mean, there's literally loads of sleepers still with the track fasteners on. Just side of the embankment. So that's the that's the line just at the top there. All the way, all the way along here. I don't know if that says 1987. 1990 sure it can't be 1990 it's confirmation that that did say 1997 so we're coming up towards langton colliery in a short while just on the left hand side of the line according to railmap online is where we would have had a couple of sidings that looks like it 
a fairly recent sign that one Starting to curve around a bit now. So we say goodbye to that little, well, I say little section of the track. We've been walking along it for quite a while now. It just abruptly comes to an end. So we're right in, in the, the heart of the grounds of Langton Colliery now. So we had, well, looking at the maps, it starts to go a little bit haywire. We've got more lines over that side that are behind the fence from where we are here. Um, it's like we had the Great Central Railway joining us. A couple of lines diverging from this direction as well for the, uh, for the colliery. Quite a lot of quite a lot of bricks. Clusters of bricks there as well. It's like something was here. It looks like there was we're just seeing the remains of a, a base of some structure there as well. So much cabling coming out of the ground around here. So here's a map of Langton Colliery from the earlier 20th century. So we're walking along the bottom line. Uh, the majority of what you can see on this map as part of the colliery is now being landscaped. And I've just put a little blue circle there, which, uh, which is our current location. And you can see those lines diverging north there. And we're just about to come across a few bits and bobs that, uh, that are situated right between the two lines. So we are still on the, on the track bed, still on that Bentink colliery line. We were just debating it because it did get a bit undulating, but there's the sleepers and and whatnot on, on the side of the line there. But it looks like there was something made of corrugated iron here, so possibly a tin hut or something, something like that on the side of the line. Annesley bricks. And we're really not sure what we've come across here. I thought that was a sleeper, and I could be right. Could be a concrete it's like, sleeper. It's like quite a lot of loads of bricks, rubble. It's like a pin. Huge. It's massive. It's about the size of your forearm. And these are very, very corroded um, chairs for the track. Another one there. You've got the pins still sticking out there. So we're really not sure what, what we have stumbled across. I'm not seeing any buildings marks and any maps of anything like that. There's, there's porcelain and all sorts. Um, but if I'm reading the maps right, we've got the Bentnick line just going off that way, kind of straight up. But we had another line that went off towards the Great Central Langton Colliery branch, which goes in that direction. All right, so we're carrying on down the Bentnick line, um, leaving Langton colliery behind us so heading in the direction of Kirk Bean in Ashfield which should be straight in front so a bit of a cut in now three bridges side by side one there Midland Railway 1897 we're not going to be getting on that it's got no bottom And then that looks a bit, a bit rickety. It is those three bridges from underneath. So, so something, something stacked up there. Blue bricks. Just, uh, yeah, a couple of couple of iron girders with the timber across so this next one got a bit of red brick now so this is the one we've just been stood on this has got those big uh, pieces of stone on top just to stop people 
driving down. I don't know if it's coming out with the contrast with the filming into the light. And that one looks like it's in the best condition of the lot, to be honest. And then this one, oh, this is our Midland Railway 1897 bridge. It's still got the plaque on there. As soon as I start filming upwards, the sun comes out. First time this week. So you can see the, the huge, the huge bolts side of this bridge. And like I said, when we were on top, absolutely nothing to it. Look, it's completely just a shell of a bridge. PB. Is that PBC three? And there's another plaque on this side as well. Same. Not sure if that's paint or rust on this side. Right. Sorry about a bit of breeze. Now we're out in the open, leaving behind the uh, the Bentic line. Just behind us there. Just we just come underneath those three bridges because it is a bit of private land. For a short time so we're gonna have a walk over and have a look at another colliery area just uh, just a short distance over here so there's our three bridges and there's langton colliery so we're gonna have a look at this area that i've just circled this is portland colliery number one also referred to as azias pit mining started in 1820 200 years ago and lasted until 1907 after 1907, coal was brought out from other shafts of Portland. However, it was still used to pump water for some time afterwards. So, according to the map, what we've just coming across here, this wall, an area here, something that's fenced off there. This was Portland Colliery, number one. We can see this exact, exact location on, on old maps that there used to be a building here and the shaft. Lots of bricks, lots of lots of coal, yeah, lots, of, lots of rubble. Nice little wall. So we're assuming this could have been where the uh, where the winding wheel could have been situated. Big plinth here, and these big metal rods sticking out, which ties in with the old maps. not to trip over them and then exactly where we can see on those old maps I keep referring to look at this that's got to be the old shaft hasn't it I could have done with my extendable camera arm you can see if you can see all the way in put the camera above the fence So up on to another section of Portland Colliery. We're right by that railway line again now. So that's that line linking the error wash to the Robin Hood line. A couple of old buildings we've got here. So we've got what? Well, I don't know if it's a, a plate layers hut. It looks like it would be from the railway. Because the door, the entrance is the other side of the fence, pointing or facing the, the, the railway lines. So I'm not going to be going round. Got a little fireplace there in the corner as well. So what we're looking at here would be the old Portland Colliery at number two. So we've got quite a junction here as the, as the colliery lines leave the Mansfield and Pinkston Railway. So we're just having a look around a few disused buildings on the right on the junction and we're just wondering if that's what we can see on this map. So we've got a we're at, we're at, I suppose we're we're on the kind of reception of the colliery site now and there's a line curving round there that's still in use but we also had a line coming off and all this looking in that direction was sidings Got a light gantry, telegraph pole, and another another building here. So 
So I'm not sure if these were anything to do with the railway. Fireplace there. I thought that was a little bit of a uh, bit of ash still burning, but at night it's just a reflection off of Cavery's cream egg wrapper. So I thought that was a wall. But it's not, it's, it's the end roof. Look at that. That end of that building's just completely collapsed. That roof's just folded itself over. So three little buildings here. Yeah, so all this, like I say, this would have been railway lines coming in. We've still got plenty of sleepers around. Got an old football. Just trying to piece together fo the footprints, what we can see of the remains with what I can see on the map. It's, uh, it's very different today. So this would have been the chimney house. If that's the right word. You just say chimney on the map. So that's Portland Colliery done. Well, some of it. We just had a walk through um, where some of the sidings would have been on the floor and we've come back out just having a bit of a breather um got bent bent bentnick bentink i keep calling it bednick bentink colliery um just literally behind where you can see those buildings there and we're gonna go and pick up the line and go back to where we started basically so here's the old bentick line So back up on the bit of a climb up here. Let me get my breath back. Um, back on the, the old Bentic line. I thought it was a, a through um, through passage, but no, we can't get any further that way. But this is that bridge I've just been looking at from underneath. There we go. All these sleepers piled up. Yeah, that's industrial land the other side now. So that would have been into Colliery, yeah. wouldn't it? Then through there. Through and then yeah. Back on part eight, and then Super. back onto that bit what we've just what we've talked about. So there's a concrete plinth. Don't know what that's off. Some kind of concrete platform dumped in the middle of the track bed. But look at all the wires coming out of it. I wonder if that was just to the side here. But what we have got, this signal. Yes, we've got this old signal. Old colour signal. Just left in the woods here. Maybe brave, climb up. Look at this tree. It's growing. See, Platform see there. Got, got a tax yeah. there. All right, the tree's grown round I don't like the way this is swaying I tell you I'm not I'm not a climber misadventure that's the word that's going to go on my headstone it's quite big I can see it swaying against the sky so I'm back down safely I think it's it's safe to say climbing ladders isn't my forte yeah, nice little relic left in the woods there. I'd like to see if I can get around on the other side and have a look. I don't know if you can see it through the trees there. I'm halfway into a thorn bush. So we're just trying to figure out what type of signal that is. It's not a common one. It's not one you'd instantly recognise on a on a on a railway and the red amber green ones. But just just after the bridge here. So it's looks like it's a single track over the bridge. It opens out into four or five or even six, it's difficult to make out, um, tracks wide and sidings here. So that, that signals obviously something to do with the sidings. So about 50 yards up the line, going back towards Kirkby. Got another one. Another signal, signal post in the woods. This time, I can just squeeze through these. Stabbed more times today. 
Um, this time it's not got a, a top on. No idea if this is railway related or not, probably not. Some kind of hose. I thought at first it was like a like an air pipe or something, you know, off a, off a wagon. There's not much fly tipping around here, so I'm not sure where it's come from. I should have just seen something else just sticking out there. What's that? Piece of metal. Piece of steel sticking out there. Bet there's all kinds of all kinds of little bit of uh, discarded railway bits from wagons and, and locos just, just abandoned underneath. That's where we're walking. So what I was just saying about stuff there, and I've just been having a poke around with my foot. Some, some nut. Got bits of strips of metal sticking out. More, more bits, big long bit here. A hook. And there's a third, third signal post. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's got nine, nine bulbs in that one. I've made it up this one a little bit more successfully. It's not swaying as much, which helps. But look, you can see right in. I can't get high enough just to see if there's any bulbs in there. Plenty of wires. View down the trap bed. I've just seen something else where I was stood on that signal. Talk about eyesight. I wonder if that's a spring from inside. I believe they look like wagon wheels, don't they? They do. In fact, they definitely are wagon wheels. They are, mate. Not, oh. the, not the chocolate biscuit, lot, but yeah, you can see the. I don't know if spokes is the right term. What a fine. Yeah. A bit of flange on there as well. Look how worn that is. So they are well and truly buried. So I don't know what this land is. Steve just said it could be a stocking site where uh, sidings, sidings just there. We've just been walking along in those trees. It's where we have had um, all those sidings, but yeah, there's all sorts sticking out here. We were always cutting through here to get back to the road. We had no idea. Cables. Yeah, a bit of foot plate. I bet there is tons of stuff to be found here. I'm going to have to look into what this were. A little bit more because we've got a huge absolutely massive concrete pad up here I'll just show you and i don't think we were planning on coming this far up to be honest but so this would have been something i'm assuming related to the colliery or the sidings god it's windy something else caught the eye from the main main path again loads of you know, that, look, that looks like some of that um some of the railings like we saw on the signal but look at all this piled up with bricks and rubble lots of steel loads of steel and what's this sticking out right back on the bentic line now so just making his way back Back to Pinkston, back to where we started. So we've seen we've seen the old line, we've seen a few old lines, a um, couple of collieries. So yeah, it's been a good day. Some interesting things we didn't expect to find as well. So as always, cheers for watching. Don't forget to leave us a comment and correct us on everything we've got wrong today. And uh, obviously don't forget to subscribe if you've not already. Take care and I'll see you soon on another video. A bit brave, climb up. My boots don't fit. Yeah, you, you 
Yeah. Boots don't fit between the old big feet. Sorry for the footage here. Yeah. I don't like the way this is swaying. I tell you, I'm not. I'm not a climber. Misadventure. That's the word that's going to go on my headstone. Right, that's as far as I'm going up. It's quite big, I can see it swaying against the sky. Oh, it's swaying. Look at the state of it. I, I had to do some repointing around the top of my porch last year. Jesus, it went, it, it were only about up to there, and I were on the ladder and I was swaying all over the place like this. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I'm back down safely. I think it's, it's safe to say climbing ladders isn't my forte. Yeah. <laughs>